morning. Welcome to Margaret being Margaret. A couple of things I'm going to do today. One of them is talking about my hair. Look how much mousse. Both in the salon and with this family here, I hear so much of my hair is fine and limp and straight and won't do anything. And guess what? My hair is fine and limp and straight. And it will do anything I make it do. Folks, it's all in learning how to do it. You saw how much mousse. If I don't put mousse in my hair, it is going to lay there about a quarter of an inch thick. And it will be flyaway and staticky and absolutely miserable. I always tell you, don't brush wet hair. So I'm just going through the ends with this. I'm not raking through. When you brush your hair, comb your hair, wet hair, you always start at the bottom and come up to get the tangles out. Once I feel like, okay, with my lack of patience, I can now put a comb in it and I'll start with the comb. But if you put product in, and you don't comb it through, you just wasted however much money you put in your hair. Comb it through. <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you today what fine limp hair does if you put product. My hair is bone straight when it's dry. I mean, if I didn't put product in it, put a curl line to it, that bend or curl would last about 15 seconds and then <clears throat> it's like erectile dysfunction for hair. Five minute face, makeup, quick and done. And I want to show you what you can do with fine hair if you put product in and don't fight with it, which means it's not going to work because I want to show you. I'll be back after I get dressed. You know how I always do get, get your socks and shoes on because be ready for the day, that way you'll move around. The other thing, I read this years ago and I do it all the time, change up how you do it. We get into such a rut of, you know, sock, sock, shoe, shoe, change it up, sock, shoe, shoe, sock, <laughs> no, no, don't do shoe, sock, but it keeps your mind fresh and it works. You know the other thing, I don't know if any of you do this, but since I shower the second I get up every morning, I brush my teeth in the shower, which makes me brush them longer and is just, lets me stay in the shower longer. Try this if you've never done it. Change hands, brushing your teeth. Because I get in the shower right after I've got up, I'm still half asleep. And if I'm brushing my teeth, I've got my eyes closed and I'm almost half asleep again. If I change hands or change back and forth, I wake right up. My body's going like, what the heck are you doing? Try it, works. Anything to get our brain cells firing in the morning. All right. I am going to blow my hair upside down. I am not going to run my fingers through it. I'm going to just kind of not scrunch it because then you're forcing a curl and it will get frizzy. But I'm putting my hands on it and kind of holding it. We're going to see what it does. I want you to watch how my hands are just kind of messing up the root. I'm trying to get the, the roots to not lay down. That's going to be the trick to getting the hair to be full. So every time you see it, I'm at the root of the hair. I'm never doing anything with the ends. Here we are. Beautiful. Now let me show you because you'd pick, pick this up. I think if you saw this, you'd go, oh dear God, that's a mess. And it might be. I can't see. I'm not close enough. Now I can check it out. The first thing I do is check out the back. So I've got my three three-way mirror here. This part has that nice up curl. This part is a little bit more fragmented. The top is fine. This is 90% of the way I'm wearing it today with one caveat. I'll take my blow dryer. Whoa! Oh, sorry. All right, so as I was saying, I'll take my blow dryer. I'll break everything. Come on, don't do that. All right, let's see what I didn't break and let's see what's still good. Sorry about that. Take the blow dryer. That's what we were trying to do. 
Now, there's nothing wrong with this. But... When I finished just pushing it up like that to dry it upside down, it was 95% dry. Still that cool damp to it. Because I wanted to take some of this... Oh, man. I can't talk into the right part of the camera. Round brush was just to bring this down a little bit. I can leave this. It will go flat. I still come in. I want the fullness through here, which it is right now. Take my teasing comb. Just a couple of good teases right there where I don't want it to go flat. You can't tell I just did it. One, two, maybe three. Bring it back down so you don't know I just did it. It's not going to go flat. Same thing here. This On this, doing this style, I'm not having to tease the whole thing. I'm going to do the very back because we know that that's going to go too. This is just to show you. My hair is bone straight. Does it look it? No. Did I curl it? No. Lots of product, lots of mousse, not gel, lots of mousse. Um, when you see me blow drying it, it's the root and no scrunching because that makes it frizzy. I'm just gathering and holding, gathering and holding. Then stop before you're done. It's the secret with life. <laughs> stop everything before you think it's done because you're usually done five minutes earlier than you think. So I'm done for the day. My concerns here will be... Do you think I look stupid with my hair just done like this? Here's the bottom line. doesn't matter if you think I look stupid. If I don't think I look stupid or if I think I look stupid but I'm okay with it. Whatever I look, I'm okay with it today. This is bone straight hair being finessed or manhandled into doing what you want it to do without fighting with it. If you write to me or you say to your stylist or you complain to your friend about how limp your hair is and you're not putting in heavy duty mousse for a product, you can't complain. You're not doing anything. If you put in mousse and don't blow dry your hair, it's not going to have the volume. However, if you put in mousse, take a banana clip or whatever you call them, put it up, gather it all up here loosely let it 100% dry and shake it out, you'll have plenty of volume. The heat from the blow dryer breaks up the crispiness and makes it fuller. You do not have to have the heat and get a very adequate result. Pin it up. Put bobby pins. I don't care. Just don't pin it up tight. Pin it up very loose. Product is necessary. Otherwise, you're going to have your fine limp hair. If I didn't put in my mousse, can I beat a dead horse enough it would be stuck to my head. I am ready. I am ready to go strip the bed, put the linens outside. I'll be doing folding the clothes that are behind me. Somebody will write me a note saying I shouldn't have stuff on that bureau, and they're right, but it's clean clothes that I have to put away. That will be done shortly. Then I will get in the kitchen and put all the dishes away that I took out of the dishwasher around 2 o'clock this morning when I couldn't sleep. My Sunday vacuuming, my highlight of my week, and then I have no plans. And I'm going to see if I can make myself do only two videos a week, wondering if that will help the channel grow. Am I overwhelming the world? I think there is too much of a good thing in Margaret being Margaret. Someone also mentioned to me recently that it's kind of boring just to watch me not be doing things that people are searching for online, which I don't think anybody online is searching for crazy old lady. Maybe they are. But you all have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, I left the bedroom where it's so dark in there so you can't see what it looks like. This is a finished product. This is how I look for the day. It does its thing. Look. I think it's okay. I should probably start playing with it so you can see it. This is doable on fine, limp, crappy hair. Try it.